Hello all, welcome back to another video, and welcome to Sammy G's World of Cinema. Today on the channel, I am going to be continuing on my review series for the Planet of the Apes film series. Planet of the Apes from 2001, directed by Tim Burton, starring Mark Wahlberg, Michael Clark Duncan, Tim Roth, Helena Botham Carter, Chris Christopherson, David Warner. I have kind of avoided the 2001 remake, but because I am reviewing all of the Planet of the Apes films, I would include this one and I would review it for you guys. There was a project in the late 80s that was in the works. Adam Rifkin, Terry Hayes did had a script titled Return of the Apes in the late 80s with Philip Noyce directing production difficulties. This was cancelled as well. Another Planet of the Apes film to come to our screens with Tim Burton directing. The film takes place on this space station, Cobberon. 2029, we focus on this space station crew led by astronaut Leo Davidson, who is working with these apes who are trained for space missions. When this electromagnetic storm occurs, this ape co worker, Pericles, escapes in this space pod. Leo goes into this space pod in the search of his fellow co-worker. However, Leo falls into this vortex, crash lands on the planet Ashla, where he discovers this planet is ruled by apes. He discovers this tribe of humans are running away from this hurdle of apes back to ape city where Leo and the other humans are imprisoned and are taken under observation. However, Ari sees a different side to Leo and these humans and she decides to take care of them. There are the remains of this spacecraft, this zone called Kalima. The group of humans decide to make way the forbidden ruins and escape from Ape City. General Fade and his fleet decide to go on a mission, a battle against Leo and the group of humans. So, <laughs> oh, I know this is everyone's favourite Planet of the Apes film. I didn't think this was absolutely atrocious. Did I like it? Not really, to be honest. I thought it was still a not a very good movie. However, I will give Tim Burton credit for at least trying something different with the Planet of the Apes story. I appreciate that he wasn't doing a complete copy and paste of the original. The score from Danny Elfman was absolutely fantastic. Some of the makeup and the costumes from Rick Baker was really good. He, David Warner was probably one of the standouts here. I thought he played one of the more interesting ape characters. Tim Roth's, I did quite like it. He's some what menacing persona that he brought to the role here. I thought he was quite decent at times when he wanted to be, but again, he was just working with the scripts that he was given. Some of the set designs I thought was fairly decent. He Unfortunately, guys, other than that, I don't really have many other positives. Mark Wahlberg as what is the guy's name again? Leo. I thought he was a very wooden protagonist. He can be a good actor when he wants to be, but he didn't put on the best performance here. I thought his character was very narrow 
and pretty boring and quite unlikable at times in this rainforest. General Fade's leap and he would fly really looked out of place with one of a scene where he was flirting with Ari and he would say something along the lines of you like the humans but you don't like me and then he would and then he would just fly off this curve and it's like that was a bit weird I didn't really get that there was some pretty bad acting I thought the main girl in this as well the actress didn't do a very good job here unfortunately and I thought her character was pretty bland. I didn't mind Chris Christopherson's character actually, I thought he was okay, but apart from that the side characters were pretty awful. The main orangutan in the limbo, he would have some really cringe scenes like he would just be smelling his armpits <laughs> for no reason and lovey dovey with Ari in one scene. Big moment that's happening with General Fade and Leo, he would just randomly show up like a, a few mi moments later and say Oh great, I was ready to make my move there. <laughs> what? Why? They tried to recapture some of the iconic lines as well, you know, spoken by Taylor in the original and yeah, they tried to reword it a little bit and yeah, it, it, a couple of the iconic lines just did not land here on dull looking palettes to it at times as well. You, the humans in this could already speak, whereas in the original, the humans were mute. Some of the fight sequences were not very interesting at all here. As there was this kid character. He was just pretty annoying. Mark Wahlberg was going to help him. And then... The horse just was left there and he decided to run for it when he could have just used the horse to run away from it. It was a bit of a plot hole towards the end and I just didn't really know what to think of it. Some of the special effects were just not good, unfortunately. Tim Burton has, hasn't has had the best track record in terms of remakes probably the worst film i've seen in a long while is and honestly guys if you haven't seen a single planet of the apes film of course don't go to this first go to the original from 1968 it is far 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 better without a shadow of a doubt i'm going to give the 2001 planet of the apes remake Four out of ten. It wasn't absolutely terrible. And there were some decent aspects, but definitely not in a hurry to go back and revisit this one. But thankfully, guys, next up will be Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I will have a lot more positive things to say. For anyone that is a fan of the 2001 remake from Absolute Power to you guys, I'm really glad that you got more enjoyment out of this film than I did. It wasn't for me, unfortunately, but yeah, not absolutely terrible, but just got absolutely nothing on the original for me. But so, guys, do let me know your thoughts on the Planet of the Apes remake. What's your thoughts on the Planet of the Apes film series as a whole? I would love to know all that stuff in the comments down below. So thanks for watching. Cheers for stopping by and until next time, I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.